this is Yaz and Kat, and this is our artist series. <laughs> and today we are doing our interview with DMV rapper Flex360. Hi. Hey. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Good. Oh, great, great. Thank you so much for I'm being honored. on this I'm podcast. Hang on here. It's Absolutely. It's an honor. <laughs> so tell us about yourself for anybody who has not heard of Flex360. Would you want to tell us your own name or do you want to keep it under, you know, wraps? You be honest. All right. So I'll tell you my first name. Uh, okay, Bill that's fine. Is my name. Uh, I'm from the DMV area. Um, been rapping since I was about 12 years old. Um, been doing this for a long time now. Um, started off battle rapping for about the majority of my career, I would say from 12 to like 21. Um, after that, I started to slow down as far as with that, and more of pick up the producing side and creating so, um, the songs and stuff. So I would say I've been rapping for pretty much all my life. Um, been doing it for some time. I've done quite some shows around here. I've been uh, done shows in Baltimore, Washington, of course, um, Silver Spring area. Ha hey. I have traveled Atlanta, Colorado, oh, um, Baltimore area. So I'm known out hey. there. I, you know what I mean? And I'm just reaching to try to spread. So that's it. That's how you. <laughs> So where does the name Flex360 come from? Ah, good question. So Flex360 comes from my name. So Felix, which, you know, everybody back in the day used to call me Flex because I didn't know if they wanted to like not say it or maybe it was quicker to say. So um, Flex, Felix is my name, but Flex is what they started to call me. So I was like, well, listen, I'm not a, DJ Flex. So DJ Flex is like the first Flex. And then there's a reggae artist um, that uses Flex, but he uses two X's on his. So I was like, listen, well, you got him, you got him. I will be the third. So that's why I spelled F-L-E-X-X-X. -X -X. Oh. And then 360 means I can do it all. So 360 means I'm a producer, battle rapper, creator, music connoisseur, anything. So basically 360 means all of it. I do it all. Hey, that is amazing. So how does Thank your family you. feel about your music, like about you rapping? Uh, so uh, when I first started rapping, uh, my parents mm -hmm. hated it. My parents hated it. So I'm African, so you already know. I don't know if you yeah. guys do know, but African parents is not having that. Oh, God, oh, now you want to rap? You are going nowhere. You need to go to school, graduate, and be great. So and be a what, lawyer or a doctor. And be a lawyer. Yeah, they you know how that goes now. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got each so, other. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So um when when my parents first heard that I was rapping, they was like, uh no. But then after <laughs> some time, I would think like maybe five years into it, I think my mom actually heard me in the house. And she was like, Who who was that? That was me. <laughs> it's like Y'all going to be big now. I, I, I give a blessing. I give a blessing now. So, Mother's intuition uh, started speaking right there. She's like, you know what? There's something brewing here. And I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Absolutely. She feels it in her spirit. Mama always know now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> always. So that's pretty much how um, that happened. So my parents didn't like it at first. But over time, like they were like, you know what? You got talent. I believe in you. Go ahead push if you push in we'll push behind you so that's how it is and now and you know over time it's just more people just started to hear me it was like you know what this guy's all right so that was all so what musicians have inspired you uh as far as music was mm -hmm. um i would say i would say you know i i think there's a lot of artists out there who are really good but i think the ones who took to me uh, I would say the Tribe Called Quest, of course, is my like oh, yeah. number one. Number one, Tribe Called Quest. Like, they're like the foundation. Um, the intellect rapper. Quest. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I would say Tribe Called Quest was a influential point. Um, I would say, I would say Naughty by Nature would be next. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. Without them, I don't know where I would be. Um, and then I would say last but not least, as you can see too, it's like groups. I'm always a group kind of a guy, but it's like I combine that sound and that passion. So um, I say my third. Can I, I take it? Yes. Go ahead. Wu Tang. <laughs> no. No, listen, no. Shout out to Wu Tang. Shout out to Wu Tang. Okay. I mean, they, they, no, they were good, but I wouldn't say they shaped they shaped me. It's like somebody who's like pivotal. And I was, to be honest with you, real rap. I would say two people. I would say um, Eminem and Jay Z. Okay, they're the two people. So they're the two people who actually that. shaped me. Mm -hmm. you're stick they're with like that, foundation. This is shown on YouTube. Just want to make sure yeah. you gonna stick with that. Okay. No, it's All facts. Right. It's facts. I okay. gotta tell the truth. No, it, it, it's no, you know, hip hop. Everyone got their opinions. It's very controversial. So I'm like, absolutely, okay. absolutely, absolutely. It was more <laughs> their style, man. That style was just different. Like I like things that bring emotion and new style. Oh, sorry. R.I.P. Shout out to somebody who actually really did like. Not to say that they didn't, but this man really did put like a shiny on me. To be honest, with you. Mm -hmm. D.M.X. R.I.P. Yeah, he was the god. Like this, this man's music was emotional, and that's that was the like forefront of what I do. To be honest with you, actually, to be honest with you, um, me and him were supposed to do a track like two what? weeks before he. I lie to you not. I have the Instagram. He hit me up, and we were supposed to do a track, and it just never happened. Oh, oh two weeks later, he passed. Two weeks later, he passed. That is bananas. Two weeks wow. later, he passed away. Two weeks later, that's, that's that was crazy. You know, I was what? Like, mm -hmm. that would have been at like... the end of the at the end of the day. That's an honor. <laughs> yeah, like, if yeah, I, I'm just like, is. that's just amazing. Absolutely, oh, man. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. I, I felt I felt some way like maybe I should have moved on it quicker, but uh, it was rough, man. Oh, Sometimes, man. but shout out. Um, to him, though, he was definitely somebody who um, shaped me and shaped as far as the way I rap. So. so knowing, you know, all of these influences now, like, um, you do you put some of that inspiration into some of the tracks that you have now? Because there were oh, a couple of the remixes from earlier years. I think the earliest, maybe 2018, at least what I've seen in uh, over on your YouTube channel. Cause mm -hmm. you know, there was a couple of rap flow. Like personally, one of my favorite was, um, what was it? I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. Okay. You ain't never coming down, but come at me sideways and you never come around. Fly over to Asia, return with the diary of a player. She'll return with the memoirs of a geisha. Foreign cars are spacious, Hennessy in the armrest, and we all wasted. Now the drop has been wasted. I flex 360, but tonight she might be yelling the late and usually only for special occasions. I'm gone. Okay. That was like, that was really one of my favorite tracks. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, that was that was one of my tracks that I did. It's basically something that I like to do. And abs absolutely, like the way that I did that track was more for an emotional kind of a feel. And I feel like that song, it captured it. So absolutely, man. Like without, without him, like, I don't know what kind of artist I would be, honestly. Mm. I can tell you my personal favorite song because I have worked out with it is Where Did I Go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Yeah, yeah, where did I go? Home is a far from where I lay. In the land of the blind and man, but where I can't save you from where I stay. And the race is a vibe to the day. He revives me and puts me back in place. When I'm able to time, he'll erase my rhymes till then. I'll be going with no trace in the thicker now. Where did I go? Must be a case of Saddam Hussein. Did the day that I'm back home. That is legit my favorite song by you. Where did I get? I'm just like, hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He's um, like, okay, yeah, yeah. he's trying to get paid. <laughs> I do. I do want to add to note 
props for you because I know there are a lot of independent artists out here and some of the things that do put certain people off, for example, me, like when they go ahead and do their music videos, yours particularly visually was really interesting, especially the one that she just mentioned. You know what I mean? I was just like, okay, he actually put some thought behind all of this, including some of the, um, the imagery in there. You know, you had, yeah, I believe you had Malcolm X and then you had a couple of the shots and you even paid homage to some of the old school, uh, rappers as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, um, with that song, actually, that song was meant to, uh, that song came to me at, at 12 o'clock at night. And I was like, I, I lie not. And I was like, yo, like it, it, sometimes it doesn't happen all the time when it starts to write itself. Like I, I had no, it was more of something speaking to me. It's basically just talking about like the state of hip hop. Just, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. If I was hip hop, I would say, a lot. where did I go? <laughs> if I was Matter real fact, hip hop, well, even though the, you know, you covered it in the song, like how yeah. do you feel now? Cause you got, you know, genres like emo rap and then you got, um, a mumble oh, rap. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> yeah. like that mumbo jumbo. I don't know. So what like, how you feel about <laughs> you know, I felt, these styles? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, because I um, remember I was telling you when I was watching your music video for that, I was just like, I feel like he's telling this kid going back to the basics. At least that's yeah. just from what I was perceiving in that, you know, because mm. this kid was trying to get more, um, what is it? I don't want to say advice, but like, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, yeah, like he, yeah, like he was going down the wrong path of hip hop and then his father was just yeah. trying to show him what could be or what was and he doesn't understand it because again he's so into this new age so so how do i feel about it um again to each his own man i mean if there's if there's somebody that's going to purchase it hey god bless you god bless you <laughs> now now i me personally i'd rather purchase something from anybody that took their time at it like, you know, like this, this is, whether it be anything, it could be a car, it could be a painting, it could be anything. I'd rather accept a painting that took you four months than to accept a painting that took half an hour. Like, I'm good on yeah. that. I want somebody to take their time on this. You know what I mean? Same thing, like that song, like I carefully, <laughs> I carefully scripted what was going to happen and everything. So, I mean, I, I don't, you know, anybody who knows me knows that I say, my saying is, I stand by my product like Coca-Cola. Oh, <laughs> yes. I stand. I stand by. It. I yes. stand by. It. Like I'm not gonna serve you nothing that I wouldn't buy. Absolutely. <laughs> I so, I mean, that's that's pretty much where I'm at. But again, as for the other artists out there, there's always a space for that kind of stuff. It's always a space. So I mean, to each his own, you know. That's what What's I said. What's your um, favorite performance? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Like, you know, is there like that one show where you're like, oh my God, it was so lit. It was so amazing. Like, yo, I want to do this place again in a heartbeat. Um, <laughs> not to say that it was, I mean, everything's pretty much the same. <laughs> um, hmm. No, actually there's one. Um, Bill's Bar in Beltsville, Maryland, mm. right? right? There, was, there was a night we came there and all my people was there. That place was packed. We had that whole thing jump. And then um, I went outside afterwards. I guess there were some people out there who didn't know um, who I was. And I did a freestyle for the whole crowd. And it was more lit outside than it was inside. That's <laughs> because I went outside. You know, had a little smoke smoke. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody started coming outside, yo, like, cause yeah. I guess what person was like, like, you actually spit spit? And, you know, that's one thing I can always say. Once I, I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is <laughs> about me rapping outside for people that draws people from across the street. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know why that happens. But it's, that's like the eighth time that happened, but it just so happens that that night when that happened, 
it was a crowd. Like it was packed. And I, I love the energy. Everybody was good. Like everybody was like having a good time. Like I like stuff like that. I like I like things like that now. So um I think that was my best performance. Just just to me. Hey Flex, right. what's up? Are you ready for the summer? Me? Of course! Well, what I'm else? about to hook you up. So there's okay. this website and it's called saltymermaid.com and they have this wonderful line of bathing suits for the guy in your life, the girl in your life, any relatives or whoever you love. Tell them I sent you and because I really rock with you heavy, I'm going to give you a discount. It's going to be 15 hey. Yes, 15% off of your purchase. Just put the code SALTY15CAT. Just to be reminded again, it's SALTY15CAT. You'll get 15% off. It's great. You can order it, right? It'll come. You'll get to like try it on. You got 48 hours to send it back absolutely free. Try it on for free. You don't like it, send it back. You'll get refunded. You won't even get charged until you actually keep it. So yeah. Okay. Wonderful bathing suits get hot I'm for down. the summer. Hey, I, listen, you can even I get matching. Anyway. I'm, mm -hmm. listen, I'm down for it. I'm, and listen, it sounds fabulous. I'm down for hey. it. Hey, <laughs> get it, girl. That's what's up, man. <laughs> so now back to our questionnaire. So, Flex, what is the dream place you would love to perform? Um. I got, I got a couple places. I like to, I would like to perform in like some off-brand places. Um, but one place I would love to perform is Dubai. Ooh, I like to, that's I like to perform there. That'll probably be great. Um, and then I'd like, you're not gonna understand why, but Utah. Hmm, interesting. And uh, <laughs> Utah because I don't think there's a lot of hip hop there. Hmm. Oh, I see what you're doing. And in your seats. Um, and then uh, I think, I don't even think there's another one. I think, but my dream, of course, I think those are the only two. Those are the only two. Really? Okay. One, so um, I guess the next question. I, wait, hold on. I have mm -hmm. a question. Because right. I'm, you know, I always think about this. I was like, do you ever think, I mean, oh God, I know it's a little bit controversial because I know, mm -hmm. I know, I know football, right? Uh, the halftime show. Mm -hmm. Would you ever imagine yourself in like a stage like that? Yeah. I know it's kind of controversial because I know what's going mm -hmm. on, okay? But I'm just curious. I can, I can see that, but I don't, I don't see it as impossible. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, that would I, that would be good. And I'm I'm controversial, but I don't have to sell my soul to do it. I don't have to, mm -hmm. ha and I'm not putting anybody's name out there. I'm not, but I'm oh, yeah. say I don't have to put like sa satanic things and blood and fire and all that other kind of stuff. Like, again, I can make it real good to where people are actually like, yo, like I actually had a good time. Like listening to this song at this time was very good. I, I enjoyed myself. Me, my daughter, my sons, we all had a good time as this song played. That's what I want without having to kill anybody. Yes. Hey, no Illuminati up in here. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying, just saying, just putting it out there, but yeah, 100%. That is lovely. Who knows? I mean, anything's possible. I would, I would hope that you'd get there. And of course, this clip will predict the future when we talk about I'm it. Tell you, hey, I'm telling you, I would say in advance. Congratulations when it happens. So, Absolutely. Mm -hmm, Absolutely. I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but is there like any dream collaboration? Like, if you could like do a song with anybody, who's your first choice? I can do a song. There's, there's, there's a who my first choice. Well, obviously they're not alive, but it'll probably be a living artist who I can. <sighs> okay, how about passing and living? DMX, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, passing. All right. And honestly, I got a couple. I would say Tony, Tony, Tony. 
Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, I'm just I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I mean, I mean, think about it. Like they, like they got so many hits. Like I think, I think I, we could make some like real in the heart stuff. That's just me. I would say Tony, Tony, Tony. I would say TLC. Ooh, I would say yeah. um, nice. Royce the Five Nine slash Eminem. If I could rap with one of those guys would be a total honor. That'd be like a, a highlight in my life, actually. Wow, um, yeah, that's cool. Absolutely. And then um, I would say, yeah, 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 yeah. Arrested Development. Y'all know who the uh, Arrested Development is? I know the TV show. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I just this I'm gonna TV take y'all back in the day. I'm gonna take y'all back in the day. Oh yes, remember please the educate song? us in the audience. Remember the song? Um, they had songs called Tennessee and Everyday People. I am everyday. I yeah, 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 yeah. The the main guy, the main guy of the group, his name is. Oh my God, he's gonna he's gonna give me a laugh for this. <sighs> speech. His name is Speech. Um, mm -hmm. He's like the head of the group, and um, they had a couple of good songs. Like they are definitely a group that I would love, love, love to work with. Only because I know that that's gonna be something deep. <laughs> it's gonna be something deep. Um, and of course, there's more. But if you want three, those are my like four. Okay. Nice. My honorable mention would probably be Jada Kiss and um, the Fugees, and then we're good to go. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And speaking of the Fugees, you know Lauren Hill is the first um, artist to sell. I think they said a hundred mil, a hundred million um, records or something like that. Really, she's gone like four or something times platinum, and she's the first female rapper to ever do it and i'm just like yes queen Absolutely. she's actually mm -hmm. really good like she has talent beyond like her her album i think that was like one of the greatest albums I was, rap albums female i've ever heard in my life 97 miseducation of laura mm -hmm. hill will yep, always yep. be a classic yeah that's a classic i that's got it all downloaded on my phone I mean, in fact, I would. Would you even say that every every song was a banger? I won't lie. I would say there's at least two songs on that album where it's like I can listen to it, but it's not really like a. You got you feel it. Me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get what you're saying. They were decent. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got you. But I would say my favorite song is probably Everything Is Everything. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's definitely she's definitely um one of those artists that I would say is somebody who can change the game. Like I that's what I'm mm -hmm. trying to do, trying to do. As far as like when I do things, I'm trying to change the game. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to walk with everybody. That's you understand, like that's not who I am. I I wanna change the game. I wanna make people like, yo, like that's I'm trying to do that's what I'm trying to do. Like that's you know? that flex sound. Yeah, everybody says you know one thing um, I was told is that I don't curse with the music I have, or maybe it's not a lot of it. Yeah, is that a bad thing? That no, it's just you don't hear that a lot. You don't hear that a lot. Okay, I can that's appreciate it. I can appreciate Absolutely. it. <laughs> Absolutely. So I do want to uh, talk about this because you dropped a new single called Sex. No, yes. it is. Girl, I've been waiting and waiting for this moment and this time. So what you know? Girl, flex. Time to have sex. Why don't you want to show me when me I go back? Girl, flex. And is this coming off of your new album? Because I'm hearing that you have an album coming out. So I uh, yeah, I do have an album coming out, but this is going to be um, next year. Um, I, I haven't I haven't created I haven't gotten a um, 
a title for the album yet, but I do have the concepts. And what you're hearing um, with, actually there's, I've already put out um, two songs off of it, or I'm sorry, one song off of there. So um, there's another song that's about to drop um, later in August, which is called Five Star. And um, okay. that's coming off of the same album. And then we're gonna have a hiatus um, after that, but we should be dropping the album the year after that um, in like May. So oh, okay. yeah, that's the project. Uh, okay. Is there any like concept behind the album that you want to speak now or? Well, no, not really as far as now. It's basically the concept. I, I haven't really gotten a concept, but I know that these songs are part of a greater picture as far as just in depths of who I am. Um, there is another album that's coming out after that, which will supersede um, everything that so basically this album that's coming up in May next May mm -hmm. is going to lead up to the album that's coming up after that um, okay so I'm not sure I'm not sure as far as what the concept is but it's basically showing another side we all have other sides of each other but this is just a, a side of me that I haven't put out yet so oh that's exciting so, yep thank you thank you I think so uh Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh, um, well, I was saying, I just think that as far as sex goes, again, this is just something that nobody really talks about like that. So, well, <laughs> that's a lie. that is a lie. It's flooded. It's flooded in our industry. But it's just, it hasn't been, it hasn't been put out for me. This is just me. It hasn't been put out in, in the kind of way that I'm having. So, that's all. I like I like the cover for it. I was like, it's I don't good. know who drew that for you, but I was like, hey, that's nice. Hey, hey he's he's a whiz, man. There's a guy um, <laughs> off of an application that I have. Um, he never gave me his name. I think his name is Pete, but Pete is a um, illustrator from what's that? Bangladesh. Oh wow! And he does animations. And I I, I met this guy. And he drew. Um, the dojo logo and I'm like you know this is this guy is talented so ever since then he's been doing all my stuff I don't go to anybody but him but he's on point so this walk out just be like y'all about to know his name nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Pete, I guess Pete <laughs> so, um, I believe back in February or March, you were in Vibe Magazine. What was yeah. that like being in Vibe it Magazine? It was an honor. Um, so for that to happen, I was actually, I didn't even know that that was happening, but um, my sister called me and she was like, yeah, um, you know, they just published something about you, right? I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. I saw it, I'm like, okay, that's good stuff. Because again, no, a lot of things I don't know. Usually she handles everything and then she tells me, afterwards so when she was like hey they published something about you i was, I was like what what that's what's up that's what's up i uh i did a flip or two and then um came back down and i was happy so <laughs> hey was that's amazing so it was just random like you just didn't go to anybody you just woke up and you were like oh i'm in a magazine hey yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. some of these so some of these outlets sometimes they tell you that um, they're going to do it, but sometimes, you know, you never know when it's going to happen. So I kind of knew it was going to happen, but I just didn't know when. So when they dropped it, I was surprised, but I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, cool, not too bad. But yeah, it was good. Shout out to Vibe, Data Bong. Hey, Vibe <laughs> Magazine's a classic, so, you know, Absolutely. gotta give Vibe them their Vibe Source, news. all the platforms out there who wrote about me, I appreciate that. So. Oh, you were in Source too? Yeah, so this is- Oh, wow! Source. 100%. That is amazing! I'm trying. So have you <laughs> met anybody famous in the game? I know you've talked to some, you know, online, but have you met any of them? Uh, no, yeah, so I've just talked to some. I, right now, let me say, I don't, and I don't want them to get upset at me either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Like, we don't no, need to get you to TMI if you don't want to. None that I can remember, but I have chatted with a lot. So DMX, Jane Kiss, Busta Rhymes, uh, da, 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 those, I think those are it. If I have any more, I probably remember. I know Waka Flocka, me and him had a conversation. Actually, I'm sorry, me and him have a track. 
um, together. Um, that was off of an album that's no longer out, but I still have the song um, on my SoundCloud. It's called In The Streets. Um, and me and him did a track together again. We never really met, met, but um, you know, he did his sample. We spoke on the phone. But, that is um, amazing. Yeah. Um, but I think my biggest highlight was having JD Kiss. You know, I did a freestyle for him. And um, again, you know, he heard it and he was like, dude, like you killed it. So we were supposed to be on the track. I'm on his mixtape, actually. He has a mixtape that was out um, on SoundCloud. I am track number 15. Okay. Wow. And it just came out? No, it came out last year. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, you guys, check that out. It's the, what's my name? What's my name? So that, that was is his, so that was amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Definitely but, um, check it out after this. Mm -hmm. well, check it out. Check it out. You know? um, but yeah, that's that's the only celebrity I've met. I haven't ran into anybody personally. So I think. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So I know that you mentioned, you know, you have the album coming out uh, next year and then there's going to be a follow-up album afterwards. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious, uh, mm -hmm. as this train is continuing going, you know, mm -hmm. your ideas mm -hmm. are flowing. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have any other future goals that you have in mind? Because I know, you know, there's that short-term goal, right? And then mm -hmm. that one achievement that you want to do, like... My, my achievement, I mean, let's say... Well, my, of course, my goal with music is to change the status quo of it. But, um, of course, afterwards, my goal is um, I want to get to TV. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can change the aspect on that because I don't know if y'all agree, but <laughs> you don't see a lot of good shows nowadays. Everything's the same no, thing. Agree. Fighting, fighting, beating people up. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm hip to back in the day when there was good quality TV shows you appreciate. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get that anymore, man. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. That's just me. So, Are we about to get Master Flex over here, change my life? Nah, like, <laughs> nah me. I'm going to do, I'm, honestly, I'll probably do like a, a different world type of a TV show or like, yes. oh, kind of like oh, I think okay. it's so like, like Family Matters or you know what I mean? Something that's oh, pretty like good. Oh, like a good, wholesome family yeah. TV nobody, show. Gotcha. Yeah, nobody's okay. fighting. Nobody's killing each other, but it's still funny. Like Martin, Living Single, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, listen, uh, yeah. the I'm, I'm a fan friends. of that too. I'm a fan of that too. Soccer, all that good stuff. All these shows that were good, like, Good shows. You don't see that anymore. All you see is reality because people want to just ride the train. Ride the train. Yeah. Everybody got a reality show. Absolutely. Yeah. The problem is nobody wants to be creative. That's the problem nowadays, I think. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing that I I would like to do um, is maybe get into TV and change the status quo of that too as well as far as bringing it back. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I can do it. Well, do we have any more questions? Nope, we're pretty much at the end of it, and we just have okay. one last fun question for you. Let's okay. see what your answer would be, because okay. we'll be curious. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> a last um, last episode in, in the series, we had Forrest L, and we asked him a question, which I want to ask you as well, which is, if you could pick one song or two of the you know including mix tracks that you've done any songs that you've done previously um mm -hmm. are up to date which one best describes you or speaks to you the most um hmm. you talking about the, well actually there's a couple um so if we're going back in the past if we're going back in the past in the past um i would say there's a mixtape that I had, and you can find it on YouTube as well. Um, it's called R.I.P. Pip C. And the cover is a lady with black shades on. That song speaks to me. It's always spoken to me, and I always will hear it every day of my life. It's just one of those songs where I'm like, yo, I literally tore it apart, made sense. I like the beat, the vibe of it. But you can like chill, smoke to that all day long, vibe on it. That's, you know, something I created back in the past. Um, 
I would say, of course, something recent would be, I would say two songs that hit, I mean, they're both good, I mean, to be honest with you. <laughs> Lyrically, I would say, where did I go? Hey! <laughs> I would say, where did I go? <laughs> Um, where did I go? This, where, and that was just me spitting bars, like literally, like to be honest with you, when I, when I made "Where Did I Go," there was no beat on it. It was just me just rapping, just talking about what was going on. So it, it literally raps again with the with the chorus, but it's not really a chorus because it's it's part of the rap actually. So I wrote it like a poetry. So that's why it came out like that. But we put a beat behind it, it just. All right, so um, I'll say, where did I go? And I'll say that's it, that's all. I mean, of course I like all of them. I would say child support after that. Um, I did not shoot the club up. Not at all. I'm not the father, y'all. You know all kinds of shit. You guys ain't slick. A nickname Tylenol. She knows all kinds of shit. So I like child support. I feel like child support should be better. But my I problem with child support. I funny. I love child support. I feel like I feel like maybe the concept because I, I did. I was hearing some like mixed feelings. Like what you mean, child support? I'm like, no, listen. It's a song. <laughs> it's a song. Yeah. It's a I feel like. like I don't know. Like I was getting some vibes off of that, which is cool. Like I, I get it. I just not. I'm a perfectionist, so they never said that the song was horrible. I guess you just didn't. It's not that they didn't like the concept, but it's just like, oh, what is that supposed to mean? I'm like, I don't even have kids. I don't know. <laughs> I don't do it, people who get too <laughs> sensitive or too touchy, I'm just like, there's got to be some truth to it. If you going this hard, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, I just hear a lot of people complaining on it, so I was like, listen, why do I? Again, I don't have kids at all so so this was basically me getting information from everybody and it was supposed to be like a jerry springer kind of a i got that yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, jerry I got springer that kind of concept was, you know what i mean i was entertained well, to be honest, i got murray <laughs> Boys too, you know, yes. everybody. That was like messy Murray. That's what I got. You know what I was telling her when we were watching it for the first time like together i was just like this is giving me like um, I said Andre 3000, but like the Outcast vibe. You know how like sometimes okay. when they start their music videos, they'll like have a oh, yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, this, this is what I'm feeling. And then you guys add like a little texture to it to make it feel mm. kind of like a little bit different. I was just like, this is that vibe that I was getting in terms of music video. I was bopping. I was just like, I mean, Thank I got you. my own kids and you know, Thank I got you. some baby daddies or whatever, but mm. I was just mm. like, so I I thought it was funny. I didn't take it personal. Thank you, thank you, I, thank you. Like, you yes, need man. to Give appreciate me Absolutely. So I, so I put it on like world star hip hop, and I was just trying to see like okay, so I feel like world star hip hop are like sharks. <laughs> I know. Oh yeah. yeah they, man, I, I had a freestyle that that was murderous, like undeniable. Some people were hating, like, "Oh, Takashi six nine type stuff." Like, so I just what? felt like, yeah, like some people like sometimes like kind of hate. So when I put child support on there, I didn't really hear anything bad on it. To be honest with you, I didn't. Everything I mean, child support was good. It was just in the streets when I would play it out, when I'm performing it, and I'm. In the crowd, I'm seeing, you know, one girl and then the other girl and a guy like this. I'm like, people are so touchy about, about child support. Let's play with it a little bit. That's all I'm trying to do. Let's play with it a little bit. That's all. That's true. That's how I am. I like to take a serious situation and make light of it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like people don't need to be angry all the time over everything. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Of course. That's just me. Well, thank you so much for thank being you guys. a guest on our artist series. Hey, it was my pleasure and I'm honored to even be on the platform. Thank you guys. Yeah, and we oh, can't wait you. to play your music. Uh, for real, for real. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you, thank you. you. Thank you. Would you and just listen, listen to everything one more thing, you do, one more like thing. for real. One more thing. Sex is dropping next Monday. 
Everybody's gonna have sex on yeah. Monday. This is gonna be the bar. <laughs> I'm ready. Everybody's having sex, all right? It drops on <laughs> World Star Hip Hop, YouTube, everywhere. Check it out. It's gonna be something to see, I guarantee you. 100%. And, and we'll drop the links on the podcast for people we'll to do. see. And we'll drop the links, of course, on our YouTube video, so. Thank you so much. Thank you so then, much. For anybody who wants to know, go ahead and leave in your little plug so people can Absolutely. go ahead and find you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Everybody can find me on Instagram, Flex360, spelled F-L-E-X-X-X -X -X 360. Or you can find me on Facebook, Felix O'Laden or Flex360. Um, you can find my sound client. In fact, you can just Google me. I'm Googleable. So, boom. Oh. Yeah, don't <laughs> he said I'm Googleable. <laughs> That's to funny. I pop up just like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there for you. Yeah. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> hey, thank you again. Thank Bye. you. Okay. Bye. You guys have a great night. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye. bye.